not 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.3, number 33. And here we were given the formula for a geometric sequence and asked to find its first five terms. And any time I hear a geometric sequence, two pieces of information I love to get are r and a sub 1, so the common ratio in the first term. And if I look at my expression here, I can see the power, right, negative 1 half to the n minus 1, so that tells me r is negative 1 half. And if I want to find a sub 1, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take n and I'm going to substitute this in with 1, and that's actually part of the first problem is to find a sub 1, and that's what you see me right, doing right here. I find out that a sub 1 is equal to 12. And I don't necessarily need those much further in this problem. I just think in general, whenever you have a geometric sequence, it's good to find those two things. So after that, it's a matter of taking your a sub n formula and plugging in your particular value of n. So what I mean by that is if I want a sub 2 over here, I'm going to put a 2 here, and I'm going to put a 2 here. Right? And if I want a sub 3, I'm going to put a 3 here and a 3 here. And then I just keep crunching those numbers. You can see we have an alternating sequence because we do have that alternator inside those parentheses. And that's, that's great. And so then I find my a sub 1, a sub 2, 3, 4, and 5, and that is my sequence. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.